you guys, Mr. Miyagi style. Um, this is just a couple of uh, uh, stitches of the video that I made for, uh, oops, waterproofing the, um, the Insta360 dive housing. Um, so if you look at the video, what I did was uh, fill the bucket with water. Now it's not really in a real world environment. This is a very quick water test just to see if the seals or the O-rings here goes over in our case is good. Um, <clears throat> they're just this is the first test that you do is just do it in a bucket, submerge it for I had it actually underneath, had a weight on it as you can see. <laughs> I had you had stones and marbles and it still wasn't heavy enough to push it down. Um, so I had to use a shampoo bottle to press it down to the bottom of the uh, the bucket. Uh, so you guys know it's been sitting in there for over two hours. Uh, around there anyways uh, so what you do is when you do water testing you wrap a piece of either uh, toilet paper or Kleenex around um, the weight which I have here and it's uh, you can see it's marbles and, and stones um, if there's any leaks um, you'll actually see wet spots on the uh, on a paper I don't see any so that's a good sign but I won't know until I actually open it up and take a good look at it um, typically what they do is uh, the water will enter through the old uh, the o-rings here uh, if not they'll enter through the buttons or they'll enter through this little piece right here that's usually when water enters in if there's a leak or anything like that in the case that's how you test it so I'm gonna pop this up they'll probably see a little bit of water I've got a Kleenex here the water comes from like the hinges on the inside here so that stays underneath and it just comes right out so you can see there's some of it already coming out but I'm gonna try and open this up without touching the inside uh, that way we know that there is no water water that entered in so there's some water on, on the top here which is normal that doesn't go in it's on the outside exterior just give it a wipe as much as you can you can usually tell if there's water leak at the big round spots of of, uh, of moisture in a, in, a, in a Kleenex so I've got toilet paper in here I'm just gonna open it this way so you'll notice that there is no wet spots around usually you'll see that around here because it enters in th through here so I'm just gonna dump this out take this out okay so this is what was inside okay and this is the weighted bag these are the stones so as you can see this is completely dry so that's a good sign that this case is actually working. Those O-rings are working. Now, granted that things are different when you go down to anywhere or two, you know, when you're doing about 30, 60, 100 feet, the pressure starts to build on this case. So the water pushes that case a little bit more. But in theory, when that happens, it also shuts the case even tighter. Um, uh, like when the pressure builds up, everything is compressed, right? So when it compresses, it actually pushes that seal even more in to, to tighten that seal, okay? Where you'll see water enter through pressure is gaps like this, like the hinge here where this is a separate piece, the buttons where there's actually spring-loaded uh, with a um, O-ring in there as well. Uh, those are the places that you're gonna see water in and through that kind of pressure. So this is good, so that means this is working. Um, I'll have this in the water in about three weeks, so it's gonna be awesome. I've got another one coming I got an aftermarket one coming. I'll do a water test with that as well I do a water test with all the cases that I get or housing that I get so so far this passed the water test the uh, the simple water test uh, Time will tell once I get this deeper and see where even if it's deep like I mentioned before that um, if, you, if you get a little bit of water inside like even if it trickles in like a drop or two It's not too bad because your camera is already waterproof, right? you're more worried about the pressure. So the reason why these cameras have a depth range is they're, they're rated for what, the, this one's rated for I think 30 feet, 10 meters. Um, so once it surpasses that 10 meter, if you're a diver, you know that every time you go down, it gets the pressure builds and builds and builds. So it's more compression. So as you get deeper with these cameras or any devices, what happens is that pressure compresses, it presses into that, that, that unit. So the seals, O-rings, that kind of stuff will start to uh, start to weaken, I, I guess you can say that. Uh, and, and the pressure that builds up that, you know, it's gonna start pushing water inside those seams. And those seals are designed for a certain amount of pressure, right? Um, so that's why that when you take it down that deep, just like this, that pressure is gonna push that camera. When you put it in this thing, it's different. The pressure, the water pressure is not pushing the camera, it's pushing the case. So the water that it pushes in, even if there's a few drops that pushes in, it doesn't matter because that pressure is not inside the case, not in the camera itself. 
So you may get some water in here and it's no big deal because this, this is waterproof already, right? It's not gonna push into those spots unless it, and that, and that's a big crack. And then what happens when this cracks and this is this is completely useless, it's weakened. So all the pressure now goes, when, when, when there's an opening, all the pressure will go right into the into the case and into the camera. So if it's just a slight leak, then it's not a big deal. I had to, I actually had that happen with my DJI case. I had a hair caught in the seam. So when you close, you got to make sure there's no hair, lint and stuff like that caught in, in the in the uh, the seams because that little hair, when it gets deeper, it will create an opening uh, and it will trickle in the water. And I just had to trickle in. My DJI was waterproof already. So I had some water in the in the, in the camera. I didn't do anything. Just rinse it off if it's salt water. So anyways, that's the, a, a very uh, uh, um, uh, brief explanation and water test for a dive housing. And you should do that with any waterproof housing right off the bat before you actually take it into the water to use just to make sure because if there's something wrong, they can also take it back and exchange the return. Okay. Anyways, guys, peace, respect. Hope this helps. Bye.